has urged the National Treasury and Control of Budget to halt expenditures in the county until the official handover is done by the former governor to curb misappropriation of funds. Addressing the press, the governor says his removal was illegal and was politically instigated by his opponents, reiterating that he will be on the ballot in the August polls to fulfill his manifesto. A day after Wajia Governor Mohamed Abdi was reinstated as the county boss, the governor has called on the National Treasury and Controller of Budget to freeze the county government expenditure for a while before official handover to curb misappropriation of funds. The National Treasury, the Controller of Budget and the Central Bank of Kenya to temporarily freeze all expenditure except salaries by the county government of Wajia pending scrutiny of the uh, handover uh, reports and preliminary audits of the projects and other resources. The objective of this request is to preserve public funds and county resources. Referring to yesterday's court ruling, the governor has insisted that his removal and charges leveled against him were politically instigated by his political opponents. He further says it's not right for deputy governors to assume office of the governor once impeached. As confirmed by the judges, my impeachment was not only unlawful, but also unconstitutional. Consequently, I remain the governor of Wajia County and will henceforth embark on the process of receiving handover reports from the respective departments during the transition period. Uh, so the court has clarified the law. The law is contained in some legislation known as the Assumption to Office Act, which uh, must be strictly followed. It gives a 14-day window, uh, which sometimes can come to 10 days, depending on the day of uh, when the impeachment has been done. So this behavior that we've been seeing regarding removal of governors from office and then uh, swearing their deputies immediately to take over uh, has now been declared unconstitutional, and that will be really helpful. The, 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 in terms of setting jurisprudence for the uh, assumption to office of governors. With five months remaining to the August polls, the governor says he has a lot to accomplish as per his manifesto, inviting his deputy and immediate governor, Ali Mukhtar, to work with him for the progress of Wajia County. <laughs> kuniondoa ili wa, waingie kwa governor hata hivyo hawako wanajua ya kwamba wajia itapata shida na kweli wamepata shida uliza watu ya wajia hakuna service maalum ambayo ilifanywa the last nine months na sana sana kulikuwa na ukame mbaya sana ambapo mifugo imekufa watu wengi wameumia na itakuwa katika historia ya, ya, ya wajia ya kwamba uh, that nine months ile shida watu ya wajia walipata they have never even during the colonial time hawajapata shida kama however governor abdi says the county has been deprived of essential services for nine months since his impeachment stating that he will be on ballot come august 9th to accomplish his manifesto elizabeth mutuku TV 47 Nairobi.